I'm Upside Down Guitar Guy, and welcome to What Makes This Song Great, Dead Man's Trail by Tortured Agony, a.k.a. Pat Finnerty. It's called Tortured Agony. That's so good. Going down on a dead man trail, gonna drink some liquor, gonna wake up in jail. Notice that he's in the construction zone. Fast women, fast cars, Hollywood sign blue. Red lights in my rear view all night. Yeah. He's thinking about getting in trouble with the law. Going down on a dead man trail, gonna drink some liquor, gonna wake up in jail. <laughs> my problems, my problems, <laughs> my problems, my pain. Fast women, fast cars, rare jewels, and red, red lights in the rear view all night. <laughs> so, Kid Rock put this song out, right? You know, Pat Finnerty's talking about, well, yeah, he, he had a, um, he had like a parody song of this genre. <laughs> Going down on a dead man trail, gonna drink some liquor, gonna wake up in jail. It's so good. Yeah, walking down the dead man's trail, gonna drink some liquor, gonna wake up in jail. Fast liquor, fast cars, fast shoes, and red, red, blue lights in the rear view all night. Yo, let's shred, let's shred on this. That song is like legitimately a hilarious parody of the genre of like generic leather jacket hard blues that tries to be epic but you know is not always pulled off they're trying to do this thing where you you take um minor pentatonic parts you make it like really like fuzzy or distorted <laughs> Like, and you imagine a dude in a leather jacket with like bulging biceps. Someone had to do it. Pat Finnerty blessed us with a full version of Dead Man's Trail. And it's actually kind of hilarious. In addition to being an absolute like parody of this genre, it's actually like a really good example of what you can pull off in writing actually a good song in this like leather jacket genre. Some heavy sounds like the bass and the guitar mirror actually you know one of the best examples of this genre actually working is gary clark jr's cover of come together It's like fuzzy guitar and it's really epic and you definitely, you know, Gary Clark Jr. pulls off the leather jacket thing. Break okay. me down, I lose again. What? 
that that's like legitimately really cool musically. So like a few things that are just like really actually musically interesting the first thing is when he's in d minor uh he does like unique chords so it's instead of doing instead of doing that he goes like That's not like straight up in the D minor scale. Uh, the typical D minor thing to do. Right, like BYOB. But it said he's hitting. And it gives this, it's actually really cool. It's got like this doom feel to it. So he's doing that in the main riff. All right, so that's really cool. The second thing he does is the seether thing, which is, um. My ship is sinking, but it's all good and I can't go down. So, right, D minor. My ship is sinking, but it's From minor to major, you know, you don't hear it a lot in popular music to go from minor to major in the same song, right? Like if you were playing uh, yesterday, right? Right, it's an, it's an F major. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Like, I don't know, dude, that would be so bizarre, right? But in certain contexts, this switch from minor to major can sound really cool. And uh, Pat does this. He does the seether thing, as I like to call it, in uh, in this in this like kind of chorus. Break me down. So I'm break minor. Break me down to the major. The back to minor. Like, I thought this song is hilariously good. Legitimately better than... Like, miles better than it. And, like, what's so great about it is that he's actually making fun of that song. And he's writing, like, a better version of it. a genuinely hilarious song dude if you ever see this video i just want you to know you are genuinely like my favorite youtuber and you're hilarious man and dead man's trail is satire of the highest highest form bravo to you sir oh, nobody gonna tell 